Good afternoon, beginning data analysis professionals, and welcome. I'm Leah Eversoll here on behalf of Group 4, which is comprised of myself, Daryl Bailey, Bambi Gray, Nick Thornton, and Jai Shin Su. Thank you for joining us today, and today we will be presenting to you our investigations and analyses into a couple of data sources we have found. Our first data source we'd like to present is alcohol consumption. The download can be found at the bottom of this slide, and we will post our slides along with this presentation in our appropriate discussion board on Canvas to make sure you have access to this link. From my research, I found that in a tabular relational database, the entities are the rows of the table, while the attributes are the columns of the table. So, this data source has 193 row entities and five column attributes which are country, beer servings, spirit servings, wine servings, and total liters of pure alcohol consumed. Next, have any of you ever watched American Ninja Warrior? Our group has. It's a show where contestants display athletic strength by completing a sequence of course obstacles. The second data source we found is one related to the TV show American Ninja Warrior. There are 889 entities and five attributes. The attributes are television season number, location, round stage, the name of the obstacle, and the order number of the obstacle, ranging from 1 to 10. Now that we have presented a basic understanding of the two data sources we have chosen for this assignment, let's take a deeper look at this data to gain an understanding of what the data is, how the attributes and entities relate, and what questions we could potentially aim to answer with this data. Hello again and welcome. I have brought you to our full data sets. As you can see, and as you will be able to tell if you download the original data sets from our previous presented slides, this data has been saved and formatted neatly to visually fit into an Excel workbook. Our group has chosen Microsoft Excel as our pre-processing data analysis tool because it is easily accessible to all our teammates, and more importantly, because it can be uploaded to Tableau as an Excel file for further data analysis. Moving into a discussion of our data sources, we will begin with our alcohol consumption data set. A survey was conducted to analyze the total amount of alcohol consumed in liters per person by country. This survey also collected data on how many servings of wine, spirits, or beer a person from a certain country consumed per year. The averages are given in our data set. And here's a view of all of the countries in our data set. And going back to the top here, This survey was conducted in 2010 by the World Health Organization. As you can see, nearly all the countries of the world are represented. At first glance, a relationship that may be derivable from this data set is that as the total amount of alcohol consumed goes up, so does the servings for each type of alcohol a person consumes. Some basic and specific questions we could answer with this data set include which country consumes the most pure alcohol per person per year? 
which countries consume the least pure alcohol per person per year? Do countries of certain regions of the world drink more than other regions? Which countries drink the most beer, spirit, and wine servings on average per person per year? And more specifically, we could ask how many wine servings does Germany drink on average per person per year? Interesting questions. Next, we will look at our American Ninja Warrior data set. This data set shows data on obstacles from the show from season 1 to 10, although there have been 12 seasons of the show that have aired so far. This data set provides avenues for data analysis by location, game stage, obstacle, and order number. Some interesting questions that could be extracted from this data source include which obstacle is used the most or least frequently, which obstacle is used first or last most frequently, how do obstacles used in season 1 compare to obstacles used in season 10, is there an obstacle or obstacles that have been used at every location how does the number of obstacles per stage compare across seasons? Exciting to find out. And here is a view of all of our entities for this data set. There are many. We'll go all the way down here to row 892. Okay. Well, this concludes our initial data source acquisition and analysis presentation. Thanks to all classmates who are watching, and see you tomorrow in class. Bye for now.